Today is day 25 of our Halloween movie marathon. I'm joined once again with my wife. Hi, guys. So today we decided to watch Slither. This movie came back came out back in like 2006. Never seen it before until today. You, yeah, I've never seen this before. Yeah, so what did you think of this movie? Uh, I'm going to be honest. I was not a fan of it. Okay. Um, I wasn't a fan of some of the acting. Um, I wasn't a fan of the story behind it. Um, it just wasn't for me. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I didn't care too much for it either. Um, I see what they were kind of doing with it. Like it's, it's obviously a, like a nod towards like the old, like, uh, monster movies. Yeah. And, um, and I guess this is considered like a horror comedy type of movie. I didn't I really definitely understand some of the comedy. Yeah. Like it was, it was kind of like silly and like goofy and stuff. I, I, I think it was pretty solid though like i think like the um like the uh, for example like the, the acting you got some pretty good actors in this movie you got um um some pretty good like effects like makeup and stuff like that the like creature the alien thing whatever cuz the story is that like uh, um the uh the, the the main character i forgot the guy's name now he ends up going into the woods. He finds like a meteor that came from space. It breaks, and an alien like slug type thing pretty much infects him. And then he ends up, you know, trying to like kind of like breeding more aliens by infecting more people. Um, but the so the story like isn't anything you know too crazy or too over the top. But it just. I don't know. It, it's it's it was okay. I mean, I'm glad we checked it out. I mean, I'm not a huge like monster movie fan or anything like that. So to me personally, I checked it out. You know, we checked it out. I thought it was cool. I thought you know, I had, I had some decent moments in it. Um, I'm gonna put up the Rotten Tomato score also, so that way you guys can see. I think the Rotten Tomato score, believe it or not, I think was in like almost the 70s. Like, there's a lot of people that actually. I, I'm gonna be honest. I would have never thought that this thing, this movie was going to hit over like 40. I know. It, I was kind of surprised too when I went and checked it out and I and I even read some of the reviews and stuff and there are some people that absolutely love this movie. Like they gave it 5 stars and stuff. Like they loved it. And that's fine. It's just I mean, I don't think it's absolutely horrible, but yeah. I think I think for me a 2 is generous. Honestly, it's 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 more on the person because there was also some people that gave it a 1 star and they hated it. Yeah. And, and so it depends on the type of person you are. If you're into these like older monster movie type mo like things this is a good nod to it and um this is going to be right up your alley but if you're not oh and don't forget this movie is super gross too oh yeah that, that's a good thing you said that yeah there is a lot of gross there's stuff a lot in this of movie. gruesome um gruesome parts yeah in this movie yeah, like, like yucky vile like like head like heads being cut guts. off guts everywhere yep. a lot of blood like they definitely did not shy away from that stuff so if you're squeamish with that stuff Probably not a good movie for you. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, so you said for you, you'd give this a two out of five. Is that your uh, rating? Yeah, I'm uh, going to do a two. Okay, for me, I actually enjoyed it a little bit more. So I'll give it a three out of five. I thought it was solid. I thought it was pretty fun. Um, I probably will not be watching this movie again, though, to be honest. Uh, yeah. But I mean, I didn't, I didn't hate it. I wasn't like bored with it or anything like that. I still thought it was pretty entertaining for what it was. And I, I do like some of the cast members. Of course, I'm blanking on all their names right now. I know. I can't remember like, the, the main girl. Yeah. Uh, Elizabeth remember. Banks, I think her name is. Is right? that her name? I don't know. I'm going to put all their names up because I, I, it's really bothering me that I cannot remember their names. But you got a few of them. Like the guy that plays the, the, uh, the sheriff, like he's awesome. I've seen him in a bunch of different things. Um, the guy that actually plays the main character, the one that gets infected, he's pretty good too. I've seen him in, in, in quite a few different things as well. So, I mean, it's like the cast is solid. Um, and like I said, the, the effects, the, um, you know, the story's pretty simple, but the effects was pretty good. I don't know. It was just a fun little uh, Halloween movie. The thing is, I had to check, though, to make sure that this was supposed to be like a, hor a uh, horror yeah. comedy. Yeah. Because at some, I, I remember we were watching this and I remember thinking like, it's kind of goofy. And it's like, there is were that parts on, that were extremely goofy? Yeah, it's like, did they do that on purpose? Like, like very like B movie type. You know what I'm saying? Like when you watch some of those B movies where they're kind of like not the greatest 
uh, production. I, honestly, some of these parts, I don't think it's a, um, a horror comedy. I think just the movie has pretty kind of C rating acting. Yeah, but I, I, like I said, I feel like they, they, like James Gunn, who was the director, I feel like he did that on purpose. He did it like... Yeah, he, he very well might al- Almost kind of how like Quentin Tarantino did um, Grindhouse movies. Uh, but anyway, so for me, I'm giving it a 3 out of 5. I think that's it for us, guys. So thank you very much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Later.